Yeah. Darling, what's up? Well, this week we're going to be up, up, up into the 80s. And if you've dri driven up Highway 99, everything's in bloom. Purple, pink, white flowers. And that's not helping things either. So if you're a pollen sufferer, uh, travel to this area where the chance of pollen is zero. Another blizzard sits atop the Great Lakes region and gives thunderstorms to New York first. But this will move that way. And nationally, we've got 20s in Bismarck and upper 50s in New York, 84 in Miami. And pretty soon we will have Miami weather here with highs almost 20 degrees above average. So that is incredible for this time of year. The snow is going to melt, not all of it. But there's another hint of a storm coming at the end of March, and hopefully that happens because we do need more snow and we do need more rain. For now, we're rain-free and cloud-free as well. And in Delano, no, it's pretty nice. 73. Winds are northwest at 9 miles per hour. And other numbers, we've got 82 at Lake Isabella. How about Tehachapi coming in with a 70? That's not bad. 79 in Porterville. And most locations mid and upper 70s. It's great outside. The high today was 77, basically 10 degrees above average. 47 was the low this morning. We may not even dip into the 40s in the Bakersfield area. Our overnight low forecast to be around 50. So that's borderline sleeping with a window cracked open for fresh air, but pollen. <laughs> 90 in Palm Springs, 74 in Reading. It was nice in San Francisco today, too, at 67. And we have other numbers that were very warm all up and down the valley. Fresno got to 80, believe it or not. 72 for Camarillo, and it was 87 degrees in Burbank. 82 in Paso Robles. Welcome to summer. High pressure is the reason, and we will see this strengthen, believe it or not. But by the time we get to the weekend, it'll shift a little bit, and we'll have cooler air moving on in, but we'll still believe we will be around 10 degrees above average for the weekend. So the weekend ahead will be dry if you have plans. The marine layer is offshore. That's the gray pattern there, and a few puffy clouds in the mountains, and that's it. So future radar, everything stays north. In Seattle, where the rain festival continues, Portland's drying out. They had nice weather today, too. And our winds will remain southeasterly at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Very, very light. So that will continue tomorrow morning and throughout Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. So no big changes yet. 80 for the capital tomorrow, 82 in Fresno, 68 Yosemite, and even Lake Tahoe will be warm for this time of year, 65. Let's go down south where we'll be cooking. 74 for Ventura, 80 at Solvang, Pismo Beach goes to 80. And if you have travel plans or business in L.A. or Disneyland, mid-80s all over the place, 92 for Palm Springs, and darn close to 70 in San Diego. For us, low 80s across the board, for the most part, upper 40s for lows to 50, and a light southeasterly wind developing in the afternoon. Let's go to the mountains. How about 83 for Kernville, 85 Lake Isabella, and we're going to go for 75 in the Tehachapi area because we're expecting warming by about 3 or 4, 5 degrees all the way through Thursday. 89 for California City tomorrow. How about that? 88 for Ridgecrest and a southeasterly wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Air quality remains moderate and overnight will drop off to 50 tomorrow. How about 82? Boy, the kids are going to be screaming in the afternoon. It's so hot. And in the morning, they want pants on, I found out. And in the afternoon, they complain about the heat. Yeah, yeah what are you going to do? Uh, our leprechaun arrives on Sunday. Until then, very much above average for the next few days. And same for the Kern River Valley. Temperatures in the mid-80s for a couple of days. And the weekend ahead looks great. Good camping weather, coastal, mountains, the whole package. You're right about the boys. We had a... Put our boys in those little what hiking pants or something. You can tear off the bottom. Right, half those the are great. Aren't they good? Dressing they are. in layers. Then. I love. I want a pair. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Colin. You bet.